The tracks were very, very large and deep in the ground, which made me, you know, believe this was a really big deer. And I knew there was one real thick, thick area where it was so thick a man could hardly even walk in there. And I said to myself, well, that's where he's got to be. I mean, if, if this deer is as big as he is and I can't see him, uh, he, he's got to be really, really sharp and he's been around a long time. So uh, they had a big south wind. It was a Monday morning, December the 15th. And I said, the only place he could be is in that thicket where a man can't walk in there hardly. I said, uh, I'm gonna go downwind and come up to that thicket and take a stand there and see if I can catch him coming out of there, maybe just before dark. And uh, when I got to the area going upwind that afternoon, I saw this humongous sets of tracks going into the thicket. And uh, I said, that's where he's at. So I just sat down right on the tracks, right next to the edge of the thicket. 4.30 came by and uh, after glancing at my watch, I looked up into the woods and I saw like a pole go up and it came back down. And I said, it's got to be a deer, deer antlers in that trash. And that's, that must be him. And this boy, he was moving in slow motion, just like he knew I was there and he was looking for me. That's how careful he was. I could see why no one had ever seen him before. And finally, when he got kind of close, he put his head down behind some trash. And I said, well, I can't see his head or his antlers or any part of his body. He can't see me. I said, it's time to pick up my rifle. So I eased my rifle a little real slow to my shoulder. And the minute I got it to my shoulder, he took one step forward and looked right at me. He had seen me. I said, well, it's now or never. And I put my crosshairs in that opening where I could see part of his neck and shot. We took him to a livestock auction barn where they sold cattle and hogs and we weighed him on a certified scale. The deer weighed 320 pounds live weight and they estimated his age to be anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half years old. And then my buddies decided after we left there that they were gonna take it down to uh, Pineville Archery on Highway 28 in Pineville. And uh, when we pulled up in that parking lot, the cars just flooded in to look at this deer. His final score came out to 210 and 5 eighths inches. And uh, I look at him every day and say, you are very lucky to kill a deer like that. <laughs>